Hello, welcome to another Creature tutorial. This tutorial covers the Creature Unreal 4 plugins and how to use them. So before we get started, please go on to the GitHub page and download the built-out Unreal 4 Creature plugin binary files and install them as a regular UE4 plugin. The other thing you need to do if you want to ship your game is you, you will have to compile this plugin as a C++ project in order for the plugin to be compiled into your game. There is a full doc, a full write-up in the documentations page and also a video tutorial on how this is done. So definitely check that out. Okay, so let's get started. So here I already actually have a raptor creature, authored in creature, of course, playing in Unreal 4. Let's see how it looks like. You see there's a collider over here that's tracking the tail. All right, so to create a creature character, just uh, search for creature actor and drag it into the scene. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we are going to type in, you notice in, in the creature actor, there's creature file name. So let us type in the file name of the JSON file. Make sure this JSON file resides in the contents folder of your game project. The other thing you need to do is to create a material a material for this character. When you export this character out, it's going to be a TGA or PNG file that's associated with this character. And what you need to do is to create a, an Unreal 4 material. Let me show you how it's, my setup is. It's really, really simple. And so I'm actually just using the Raptors image file. And I'm making a simple masked material. You don't have to do it my way. You can do it however you want. Uh, but this is how I've chosen to do it to make it really simple. You can make a fancy material if you want. Okay, but make sure you have actually a material setup. So once you've done with the character's material, you drag and drop it in. All right, and you see this really tiny guy over here. So let's scale him up. Let's make him uh, six by six. Let's see what, oh, there you go. Okay, so that's our raptor. And let's give him an appropriate animation speed. Okay, now if we play it, there you go. There's our character running in Unreal 4. All right, so that's an interesting first demo, but not that interesting. I want to do something with the character. So with that, then it's, let's transition over to Creature Actor 3. This guy is really set up for various things that you probably are interested in in an actual game. So I'm going to open up Blueprints, and I'm going to show you what is available. So couple there's quite a few blueprint blueprint functions that are already exposed for the creature unreal 4 pipeline and the first thing you probably want to do is you want the ability to set an active animation and blend between different animation states so what you do is you add in this blueprint blueprint function set blueprint blend active animation so when you put that in this is a blueprint enable function you just put in the animation clip name that you want to transition to and the factor. The factor is basically the speed at which the character will transition to the new animation. So it's a value between 0 and 1. 1 is one means the character will transition immediately to the new animation and a value of say 0.1 will let it allow it to blend in a smoother fashion okay to the new animation. So this allows you to transition between animation states. So in this blueprint setup you notice that what happens is I begin with begin uh, event begin play. I have a delay of 0.2 seconds and then I instruct the character to switch to the slow animation with a factor of 0.1. Okay so it's going to blend into slow with 0.1 and then I'm going to give another delay of 1.5 seconds and I say blend to fast with a factor of 0 0.05, right? So if we play it now, see it goes to slow and it goes to fast, right? Let me play it again. Okay, here's the blueprints, right? So blending between two animations, cool. The second obvious, most obvious thing you wanna do is you wanna do collisions with this character. How is this done? Well, in the creature runtimes, there is a blueprint function called get blueprint bone x form or rather bone transform this function when called will return you the transform of the bone you care about now in this raptor we know the we 
we're just trying to track bone 15. So what you do is you open up the creature editor and all the bones are named in a certain way that you named it, of course. So you type in the name of the bone you care about, okay? And make sure you check this wolf transform. Always set that to true. Otherwise, it's going to return you the bones in local coordinates, which could be useful in other cases, but not in this case. So once you're done with that, it's going to return an actual F transform value. And what you do is you basically pipe it into whatever you want. In this case, I'm piping it into a cylinder collider. Okay. So then I say set actor transform on that collider with this new transform. Okay. So when I play it, you notice that the cylinder is full following the tail, as you can see above, over here, right? So it's very easy to attach colliders onto your character, onto your character's uh, skeletal structure. And in general, what you probably want to do, if you want, just want to do very coarse collisions, is just to attach a rather large collider that you size yourself onto the root bone of the character. And then basically just use the get blueprint X form with the name of the root, root bone and pipe it in to set actor transform on your collider and you are done. All right, so that concludes the basic creature Unreal 4 runtime tutorial. Thanks for watching.